Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the all ages hi, with Shono here, about to give you a late recorded daily vlog on Wednesday, February the 10th. It is like 10.38 in the evening, and I'm not going to lie, I had a really busy day today. I did not sleep very well last night, only because I tried to sleep earlier. I ended up sleeping at 4 o'clock, and I just couldn't fall asleep. I think I had heartburn because I stayed up too late when I woke up at 12. Luckily, I have these. These definitely helped calm me down. Beth yelled at me for not taking Tums. I think other people yelled at me for not taking Tums when I had heartburn. And yeah, those things definitely work really well. Because if I have like a heartburn, take that and it goes away. I don't like taking stuff normally and a lot of you guys know that and it usually pisses people off. But I had to take some Tums last night. I think I even took some Tums during the day because I had this like overtired burning throat feeling. Took a Tums during the day and it went away. Now as far as Marvel Contest of Champions goes, Mr. All Gamer and I both ran through Act 5.3 completely during a stream next week sometime after the 18th i'm gonna run the rest of chapter five gain a couple new followers thanks to me using dr octopus instead of some of the meta characters even though dr octopus is a great champion he's a fun champion to play and definitely one to invest in if you get him awakened especially he's a really good champion he doesn't have any immunity so that could be a problem for biohazard maybe we can make it work with somebody else hopefully also earlier today i ended up finishing the legendary difficulty of chapter two of that romance man side quest wolverine obviously mvp there was one fight in chapter 2-2 with a unstoppable colossus that i didn't realize that he gained fury buffs after so long so i was taking massive block damage even through a parry found that out rinse repeat once i got through him with apocalypse the rest of the fight was a joke and then wolverine just blew everybody out except for i believe nebula and if they can't bleed well you throw apocalypse in whether they get poison or not the special damage is mess hopefully over the next couple of months i can get a five star professor x as I think that would be a great synergy. Especially if I don't need to use Cable and I can just run a couple fights with Apocalypse. Who can definitely hold his own at 6-2 for sure. But never mind that I ended up doing Sector 8 Zone 10. The thing that we fought, what a fucking pain in the ass. Fight or flight and close encounter. How do you deal with both of those together? I'd like to hear from some of the veterans. How do you deal with that? Not only do you have to manage the rock stacks, you have to manage the unstoppable. Then he's got unblockable specials even under 15 hits. So yeah, it's just a little bit crazy. And I think without close encounters, that fight would have been a lot more manageable. We ended up getting them down to like 25%. But ugh, never mind that I have never gotten past Sector 8 Zone 11, but it was a nice try. I'm curious to see if he can get past Sector 8 Zone 11 with Dr. David. I'd like to see it. Either way, it was a great run. Welcome back to the Alliance Curtis for like the fourth time. Hopefully you don't experience burnout for a week and leave. Luckily, we still broke over 130 million. We did lose 97p Howard's second account, but that's not that big of a deal because he wants to focus on one account, and I totally respect that. And also, I'd like to thank 97 p hard for all the advice in marvel strike force yesterday that way i could get my iso set up properly one of the cool things about marvel strike force is that once you have the iso unlocked you can basically use it for any class so if you make a mistake like i made a few you can just get around that no problem now over the next three days there's going to be a psycho man arena trust me savage wolf whether it be on the 17th or sometime monday tuesday wednesday we will get in some hearthstone but for the next three days outside of a car daily vlog and taking care of something with my mom's car tomorrow. We are not going to be doing anything but Arena. And of course the Vincent Shono Show and Genshin Dailies. I have to do those three things. I need to get some more units. I need to get Psycho Man, or whatever his name is. I need to get him as a four star. I'm not going to go awaken him. I can just use a gem. I have a tech awakening gem. I think that's what I'm going to do going forward. I'm going to get the champion once and then just not stress out about Arena. I don't know if Psycho Man is going to go for a lot, but I know he is a new champion, so he's probably going to go like 40, 50 million. I know he's not going to go for like the 70 million star strife went for it, which is pretty crazy considering top 300, which is cool that Kabam actually did top 300 and not top 150. They realize that their player base is growing and they need to give out more rewards. Honestly, if you're spending units to get a champion, that's either more money in Kabam's pockets or it's going to mean a happier player base. But I'm pretty content getting the four star and then trying for the five star out of the featured arenas. There might be a time once I get more six stars that I'll be a little bit more pressed to get five star featured characters, especially old five star featured. There will be a time where that'll come, but I'm not ready to make that commitment yet. Also, I'm really looking forward to rank 5 Hyperion as my third rank 5 5-star. Five 
I'm going to have to try and work on Cavalier difficulty at some point, so I'm going to have to rank up some champions specifically for the new nodes, which some people say are more annoying than others. Some people like the challenge, some people don't. I probably won't like the challenge, but we'll see. Maybe if I get specific champions ranked up through my roster and some people can help me with that, maybe we can get more of it done. As far as Genshin Impact goes, I want to try and do a Genshin stream on Sunday. I'd like to stream for a couple hours on Friday, but it really depends on how I'm doing in the arena. If I'm at like 8 or 9 million, by the time I get my second cycle of five stars done in that arena i can probably afford not to run arena once or twice i have enough five stars to where i get about two million a cycle with the five stars and that's pretty damn good and then if i run through the six stars in arena i can get even more points i think i'm gonna make it a point though not to do the third cycle i'm gonna try to do two cycles of arena with the five stars every single day that'll net me 12 million points that will probably be enough for a cycle man because he's not that great of a champion he's a pretty good controlled defensive champion i don't think he's that great offensively i haven't seen the damage output somebody else might that gets him as a five or a six star i tried to get strife i ended up getting an awakening to five star long shot so unfortunately nothing there today we're going to be doing titan quests on the vincent shono show which you're probably going to see after this video goes live because i don't think i can get it up by 11 so i'll probably work on this video after we play tonight tomorrow is going to be a fighting game night and i'm also going to try to get on around 10 to do my pso2 dailies as i've told vince i'm going to try to do one or two pso2 stream days and i'm going to do three days where i actually do the dailies then i can do the week weekly orders pretty easily i can continue to make headway i cannot wait till i get level 75 in pso2 that way i can play a range class i'm not a huge fan of melee i just it's not for me maybe it'll change my mind at this current time it's a pain in the ass fighting bosses maybe i just got to get good and learn the game i also need to sit down one day and do the tokyo keys so maybe friday the 19th unless there's a featured five star i need to go for maybe friday the 19th i could commit to a daytime pso2 stream as far as final fantasy 3 goes I'm going to try to get a couple streams of that in between Monday and Tuesday. I know I haven't played it for almost two weeks now, and I haven't forgot about it. I want to get back into the game. It's just that when new characters come to Marvel Contest of Champions, plus the side event, and Wednesday the 17th is completely out for doing anything but Marvel Contest of Champions, and I want Savage to work. I want him to work that day because I'm going to have to run the Romance Arena to get 500k. I'm going to have to run all of the side event, Chapter 3. That's going to take like an hour or two, and then if I can get some some of the arena is done on sub accounts which i did not really do last session that the arena came out i can gift myself more envelopes so i'm going to try to do all of those objectives but i'd like to thank everybody that tuned into this daily vlog more than likely tomorrow's daily vlog will be a car daily vlog thank you guys all for your support thank you for making these daily vlogs relevant in your life hopefully over the next couple of months i can figure out a way to actually make content for you guys that you guys would actually watch and i'll see you guys in the streams we'll see you tomorrow for yet another daily vlog more than likely in the car.